Hello, this is Reza Rat from Radakat. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a rank column to a table as a pre-calculation using Power Query in Power BI. Let's see how this works. One of the most important questions you have to ask yourself first before doing any rank calculation is that is it going to be uh, pre-calculated or is it going to be um, dynamic? If you want your rank calculation to be dynamic in a Power BI report with slicers, for example, the user goes and select the range and then um, the range of dates and then based on that the rank gets calculated, then your best choice is to do rank calculation in DAX. Using, DAX, using DAX to do this calculation will give you ability to create measures using functions such as rank X and things like that, which is much better in terms of dynamic ability of that. And I have explained it in a couple of articles. The link to those is in the description down in this article. Now, this video is about a static calculation. Sometimes you want to do this calculation statically. You have a uh, table, um, like aggregated table, you aggregated it by customer, by different years, and you want to do cal rank calculation, but it is all pre-calculated. When you do pre-calculation aggregation table, it helps with the performance of your table as well. So let's assume that is the situation. Let's say you want to do rank pre-calculation, how you can do that. Uh, the method I'm going to show you is going to use Power Query. So first you need to go to Power BI Desktop, from there go to Transform Data, that will then get you to Power Query Editor, which looks like this. Now inside Power Query Editor, there is no graphical interface option yet for adding rank column, but you can add that using a, a single step and just a line of M code, uh, which is quite simple. The way you do that is um, in the right hand side in the apply to steps, right click on your latest step and then insert step after. When you do that, this will create a new step. Here it's called custom one. This step is not doing any transformation in the formula bar. It is just using the step name from the previous step, uh, which is whatever the previous step table is presented here. Uh, and we can use that in a function to provide the result uh, of the rank. The function that we use for uh, doing this is called table table.add rank column. You can use it this way in the formula bar at the top, just type table dot add rank column. Uh, this is one of the functions in Power Query, which you can use simply. It uh, requires four parameters in general, but three of them are mandatory. The last one is uh, optional. The first parameter is what table you want to apply these uh, changes on it. So this table name usually comes from the previous step, whatever the name of the previous step is, that is the name of your table. And then the second parameter is what is going to be the name of that new column generated. Let's call that rank. And you put that inside, uh, inside double quote as a text value. Then what is the Comparison criteria. These are conditions that you want the ranking to be based on. For example, you want the rank to be based on sales or do you want it to be based on um, customer name? What you want this to be based on? This condition should be inside a list. And in Power Query, we define a list with these curly brackets. Anything in between that would be the list. So in terms of the list, this can be as simple as just the name of the column that you want the ranking to be based on. So here I am saying that I want this table to have a rank column added to that, and that ranking should be based on sales. When I use the check mark, it shows the ranking, and here is the result, right? One, two, three, you see when there's a tie, it also determines that. When I don't specify the order of ranking, the default order is ascending. So you see the first one is the sales, that is minimum sales amount. If I want to change that order inside the list, I add another item here saying order dot descending. Remember Power Query is case sensitive, so this has to be exactly like this written. So order that descending. Now the first order is this one. The first one ranked is this one 200. We have two of these records, 100 each, and they both are ranked two. Then we have four and five. So that is how easy you 
add ranking if you want to add more columns in the ranking like for example rank it based on sales but then based on the name of the customer then you can add more items to the list but you have to do it this way you have to uh, consider this whole thing as one big list in that list you add uh, multiple lists for one list per each column you want to add so that list that first one was for sales now I can add one for customer and I can say for example for customer order is ascending for order ascending I don't really need to say that because the default is ascending but I just do it so that you can see how it works so this item is for example sales descending this is customer ascending Altogether, this list, this part, is our ranking criteria, right? And you see it is working just fine. So that is one thing about ranking, which is the criteria. Another thing is uh, the kind of ranking. So if I have the ranking, let's say, based on, based on the sales descending, um, you see that, for example, these two records, they are both tied and they have rank number two but then the next one start at four you can change this behavior with something called rank kind this is the fourth parameter in uh, table dot add rank column this fourth parameter has to be inserted in a record that is why we put square bracket to learn about record to learn about list all these different basic structures in power query make sure go ahead and check the link down in the description below i have written about these and have video videos about those as well so this is going to be a record the field name is rank kind and uh, then you can use the rank kind enumeration uh, there are three types of rank kind the rank kind type is just a type so that is not really enumeration uh, the competition dense ordinal competition is the default value uh, which is what you see right now so if there's a tie it will show the tie and then the next item starts uh, like after the combined number of these so one then these two are two together there is no three because they took those place together and then the number four versus if i change it to dense dense means that those two are still tied but the next one starts as four uh, sorry as, as three instead of four so these two considered as to position themselves and then we have ordinal ordinal difference is that with the ordinal um, when it is when there is a tie like in this situation it would look at the original order of elements for example reza record comes first so that would be number two the next one number three that only makes sense when the original sorting of the table has a meaning otherwise this wouldn't be that much of use case and if you don't any, provide any result anything in here the default would be that competition which is uh, which is what you see in here right now right so these are the rank kinds now uh, one last thing what is the difference between rank and index column because in power query you can go to add column index column you can add index based on zero one or you can customize it as well uh, the difference is that you can actually see it as well index doesn't really care about based on what field you want this indexing to be calculated it's just a row number added to the current sorting of a table so usually before index you need to sort the table itself another thing is that indexing doesn't really take care of ties or anything like that where the rank uh, you can actually choose multiple columns you can say this one ascending that one descending find ties when is when there's a tie do one of those rank kinds so totally two different things for doing um two different processes um, if you want to learn more about these types of uh, things i would highly recommend to look at the links i provide down in the below where you can see how to do rank in rank calculation in power bi using dax measures and rank x function that is the dynamic way this method that i showed you is the static way and there are links down in the description below again about what are those um, structures you have seen in here which is like list and record and how you can work with them uh, plus some many other uh, useful information if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel we have weekly videos on power bi thank you